Okay, Kipsters, we are looking at a coordinate plane, and we're seeing that a shape has been drawn for us on there. We're going to read the question, and we're going to come up with some techniques to show and get your mind focused on what you're actually reading, and to show that you're actually reading the problem. What is the perimeter of the shape? Whenever I see the word perimeter, I just want to draw a box around the word perimeter and not do anything to the inside, because perimeter is the outer length of a shape. Okay? So let's actually find that. Perimeter is the outer length of a shape. So I'm going to start on any point on the shape. Let me start over here. I'm just going to count the length of each, the length of the entire border around the shape. So I'm going to start here. My starting point is not 1. My starting point is going to be 0. When I move one space, that's when I'm going to start to say 1. So this is 0. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to go up now. 4, 5. I'm going to go to the right. 6, 7, 8, I'm going to go down now, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, I'm going to go to the left, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I'm going to go up now, 20, 21, 22. So the perimeter of this shape, because I started here, is 22. And units have not been given to me, so I'll just call them units. I'm not going to do anything to the units because it's just length, which is one dimension. Now I'm going to go on and read the next question. The next question asks me, what is the area? Area is the inside, so I'm going to box area and shade in the inside of the shape. Now we know that area is always in squared units, so I'm just going to count the inside squares on a coordinate plane of the shape. Let's count together. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. There are 24 square units. And that is how you find perimeter and area of a shape on a coordinate plane.